Kiosk Manager is a, a tool designed to help you create and manage uh, kiosk style devices or single purpose computers. Uh, how we use Kiosk Manager, we create a profile of settings and then we apply those settings to single devices, multi-selected devices, or on entire device collections. Those machines will then reboot uh, using whatever profile and settings we've configured and then go into those settings as you create through kiosk that way. How we manage and set up our profiles is with this manage profiles tool. We select a profile we want to manage. We select the different configurations that we would uh, like to add to this kiosk depending on what our use case is. And then anything we select is configured on the next screens, right? So first here is the automatic log on or log, automatic login tool. Here we can set a domain username and password, uh, test those credentials. We can even limit the number of times those are used on a restart if we want with the limit number logon count. Replace shell is next. This replaces Windows desktop with one or more auto launched applications of your choosing. You can choose from some common browsers, any UWP application, or any Win32 application that you'd like. If you're doing a Win32 app, you can select the path, add whatever arguments you need. This delay feature is nice because it allows you to uh, let the machine join the network before attempting to open the app. You can also pick a window style and close behavior. Um, so if an end user closes the app, what do you want to happen? Similar kind of story for UWP as well as Google Chrome. Uh, or any of the other browsers you can choose from. A browser option adds the ability to do things like put it in full screen or set uh, a private mode so it doesn't save a cache. Uh, you can also set multiple tabs here uh, by separating domains with a semicolon. If you've got a digital signage application or you want something to be full screen, uh, you can tile the apps, you do this tile windows option. You can also remove window borders to kind of make it very clean and then we, by default, disable sticky keys, but you can uh, re-enable that here if you would like as well. This next tool is the restart on idle function. Uh, pretty straightforward. You can either restart on idle for the auto login user or for all users. You can also delete files or folders on a restart. Pretty common to see this used for deleting all the downloads in a user profile. We include all of the default Windows folders for the auto login user. But any file or folder you would like to delete after a reboot, you can. You can also enable a whitelist for URLs if you want to lock down the machine to a specific web page. There is some configuration required depending on which browser you want to use. I believe you have a blog post about that. But yeah, we built in things for uh, Pearson standardized testing is a pretty common use case here or any uh, URL you would like to add, you can do that here as well. Disabling keyboard keys is another way to lock down the machine to a specific purpose. If you want to deny access to things like the start menu by hitting Windows key or, you know, control alt delete control shift escape to uh, deny access to task manager. Uh, and really make sure the machine is used for the purpose you intended. This is a, an easy way to do that. And finally, you can apply a default volume for all users. Worth noting here that if you add a positive volume, it will unmute the machine so that you know, the, your, your volume, volume that you intended is kept. Uh, otherwise, you can drag it all the way down to uh, apply mute. And then obviously test as well. Once you have created your kiosk manager profile and got it set the way you want it to, applying that is simple. Like I mentioned earlier, you can apply these to single devices, multi-selected devices, or entire device collections. Simply hit apply profile on the device or devices that you've set. Pick the profile you want to apply. You can deploy it immediately or schedule the deployment for a future date and time. There are a couple other kiosk manager functions that we've got. Uh, if you want to see what's already applied, you can use this applied profile status tool. Removing profiles works just in reverse of applying profiles, just another reboot and they go back to a normal machine. You can also check scheduled tasks and scheduled task results here. It's a really common way to apply profiles, so it's nice and easy to be able to see everything here.